Nothing that going on. No police are patrol now. But this need to stop. It's not going nowhere. This need to stop. It is a, it and 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 My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Well, go on, my people. Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is alright. Me know I say me probably lose court, but so far, a 19 people get slapped away. Yeah, man, from the year start. And today is just the what? The 8th day of January. Yeah, man. And a 19 person get slapped away so far. But my thing is this, you know, the trench town people. Yeah, man, the older people are going chat about trench town. And the illegal event. Yes, illegal event, people. Me not understand why is it that these people can't hear say. Turn on the yard. Yeah. Governments every time on the yard. Yeah, man, I know some no one go to enjoy. They look at free soup and look at free food. They never cook a demi ninja thing. But this is where it costs now. You know, see where it goes. And as the people, them say, yo, this thing is not stop. Yeah. Um, there are other persons, a 16-year-old, a 50-year-old, and a 44-year-old were shot and injured by unknown assailants in the Trenchtown community. The investigations are at a sensitive stage at this time. They are ongoing. And so we will not say much about them at this time, but anyone who has any information, if any witnesses have seen anything, please come forward and share that I'm information. Not going on. Police are patrol now, but this need to stop. It's not going nowhere, this need to stop. It is a, it on and off, you know. Let me tell you something. Me don't serve for nobody who broke the law. Me be honest with you, know. you understand? So when you broke the law and you get wet up on them something there, don't come over this side, come look no sympathy from nobody over here so on this for that family. We don't serve for you, because know, you're supposed to hear and who not hear. We'll feel every day me tell you that same story there. If you do not listen and obey by the rules and law of the land, and when you get wet up, I'm just I get wet up and turn the wet up. We not go sorry for now. We not go come come. Come pretty it up, boy. Yeah, man. We are talking as it is and not as it might be. People remember the money I saw the one on me inside out. So yeah, man. Remember the money I there? And the police. Yeah, when they get a sick shot, they get in the people. In back at work, no. And you know, the people them know we have the man in there. You know, the people them know because some people still have it for say. Police and soldier involved. But my thing is this. Them say they recover some of the money and then they recover one gun. So how come they never recover nobody or sell up with nobody? You understand? But the brother you crowd up. The man make them know so watch you know, man. Crime is fight on the front line and on the road. Now behind the next I couldn't for them to do. So you want to go back out there and I feel. Man, I couldn't hear for myself. And we have a Mexico police here. I couldn't hear him. I said, should I say, a former police who come and chat a bag of things. But a pack of patacos kettle people, patacos kettle cars, you see him? My foot, my foot was, was dismantled, almost severed off. Only the skin alone, I said, what is this? And I just give myself a small target and start push myself in one foot. And now when they're, they're still firing at me, I start to push myself. I got the tree in my belly, I start to push myself to, to, to go to the wall. I got another one, I start to push myself. I start to push myself and I said something just, I just get the strength. Yes. Keep on pushing myself to the wall to get to, to cover myself. And the men, them, these men are heartless people, you know. They laugh and I got it in my, in, below my spine here. I said, Lord, it looks like this is it now. And I said to Wong, and, and Davis, take away yourself. See with yourself, I am okay, I am alright. See with yourself. And right there, I saw a taxi came along and I saw a gentleman came from a taxi. When I look, it's DC Lindsay came out from a taxi. And when I recognized him, I just threw my gun to him. And when he do so, he said, Where's the magazine? And Davis just Show a magazine give him because he had two magazines. And let me tell you something, the three police officers, they really struck the test. 
for you to take a little more time to recuperate. Mr. Kudok said, no, boss. That alone will mad me and I might think that. Mr. Kudok said, listen me. On the road is where I know say, policing must be conducted. Morning, my friends. So I am here once again. Ah, uh, three days after the constant spring, police officers, to be more specific, the constant spring PIU team. This is a team that travels in an unmarked um, Toyota Corolla motor car, and these officers we are playing close. Now, um, at this point, I haven't heard anything at all from the hierarchy of the Jamaica Constabulary Force or uh, the Minister of National Security about what transpired between these officers and uh, innocent citizens of Jamaica on Friday, December 21st, 2020 at Havendale in the parish of St. Andrew, Kingston 19. Now, I am here today once again and I am here speaking to you my friends as I have a duty as a citizen of this country to protect my fellow citizens and it is clear I know that there is a policy in the Jamaica Constabulary Force that unmarked vehicles are not to stop um, vehicles on the road and if it is that there is not such a policy in force anymore I wonder why would that be because it is very dangerous for police officers to be traveling in unmarked motor vehicles and trying to stop vehicles that are driving on the road you see police officers you know they are here to serve and protect no we can't have police officers going around saying that they are serving and protect the public but at the same time they are doing things that can put the public in danger right now the unfortunate thing you know is that one of the officers from that PIU team um, who stopped who stopped us on, 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 on Friday after he realized that I was an attorney at law he said to the other officer it's a lucky thing we never did what we did ever do now I will not say and I will not use this platform to suggest what he was going to do but I know let you be the jury of this why would he say that what was he planning to do I don't know but what I do know is that these police officers used several expletives at me they kicked my feet apart and they pointed their M16 rifles at me they pointed their 9mm pistols at me and I was in real fear for my life alright now I need you to tell me if it is that the human rights organization in your country whether it might be the United Kingdom or the United States of America or Canada wherever you are inbox me let me know if this is an acceptable way of policing to human rights across the world I await your answers alright Minister of National Security in Jamaica and the Commissioner of Police I am still here awaiting some answers alright tell a friend tell a friend tell another friend check us out alright